Hey everybody, day 18, as we go through the book, pray first with Chris Hodges. We finished the book together. I hope you can see now why I consider this book to be one of the books, best books I've ever read on prayer. Taking prayer from a religious duty and an unknown to a practical way to have an intimate relationship with God. I have some encouragements for you. I want you to continue daily praying, daily developing this intimacy with God. It's the privilege of every believer to get to do this. It's an adventure with God. Think of it as God himself giving you intimate direction, not just for your kingdom life, but your everyday life, where you hear his voice, where the Holy Spirit said, I will show you things to come. It's a relationship where you get to talk to the maker of all things, who loves you, who's your father. And I wanna encourage you, make it a daily habit. Now, here's the thing. If you fall out of habits, if you kind of stop doing it, please don't quit. Just pick it back up. It's a relationship and your father loves you. I also want to remind you of this. You have the opportunity if you want to get more understanding about prayer, if you want to gain understanding with other people. We have small groups designed just to help you walk through prayer. Prayer small groups, small groups that teach you about prayer. So take those next steps. In February 7th, we're having at all of our campuses a believers meeting. That's a meeting where Christians come together and we worship God. We wait in his presence and we trust the Holy Spirit to have his way. It's an incredible environment and you don't want to miss it. So thank you so much for taking the time these 18 days to go through the book, Pray First with Chris Hodges. I pray that it's done for you what it's done for me. It's given me more clarity, more understanding and a clear pathway forward to have an intimacy with God so that I can live a life where I pray first. God bless you. Hope to see you on February 7th.